Tutorial number seven, it will be about the contact constraint. A very nice tool in Katia. Let's go to the sketcher. If you didn't know where to find it, for example, it is if the menus are messed up, you can send them back as they were. So right click on this and in the bottom of it, you can see customize. And here you can see so you can go to the tool customize and in the toolbar restore all contents and restore all position close so now the original interface returned back so now let's choose a plane to sketch on it xy plane and choose the sketcher workbench and let's try to draw some rectangle and circle so the contact constraint is a tool making a contact between two objects where the contacts is available to them so in this case, let's try with this circle and with one edge of the rectangle. Just press on the auto contact or contact constraint. Choose this circle and this edge. So now you are able to move this circle tangent to this. Edge. And as you notice, the size of the circle is changing because we didn't add a dimension constraint. So let's make another case. Let's make this line and make it a contact with this rectangle edge. Contact constraint. This one is already choose and let's choose this. So now we're making this contact. or the collinear relation between this line and the edge. And if we draw two circle, we have already one circle, let's draw a second circle. And let's make a, con a contact constraint between this circle and this circle. So we have this smaller circle is considering with the bigger circle and you notice here the concentric relation is applied here and now you can move this circle tangent to this edge if you want to move the relation between for example this line and this edge you have this concentric coincidence relation and press delete and now you can move this line freely so let's make another case let's choose the profile draw line hold circle an arc and another and one line so now let's make a uh, contact constraint between this circle and this line let's choose the auto constraint let's choose this arc and this line so we made the contact constraint in this profile So now we showed you many examples how to use the auto constraint or the contact constraint in Katia and see you in the next tutorial.